Okay, this is going to be a super quick tip on the best way of doing white balance in DaVinci Resolve. So let's use our scopes here. Just bring this up a little bit so we can see it a little better on the screen. Okay, and for those of you who are not that familiar with the waveform, uh, it's displaying luminance values. So uh, the zero is our darkest uh, our blacks right there, and uh, the brightest part of the image would be up at this 1023 mark. So depending on what we're looking at, it's going to be somewhere in between. If it clips above that, we've lost information. If it clips below this, then we've lost that information on the uh, shadow side of things. So anyway, what I like to do is focus on either the upper portion of the image or the very bottom portion of the image to line up these colors as best as possible. But you want to make sure as you're getting closer to your whites or even in your blacks and dark grays that um, that your colors line up. So what we do is in this area down here on tab two, we have an option here for temperature. Now in earlier versions of DaVinci Resolve, this didn't exist, or at least I couldn't find it. Uh, it's really nice that we have this now because it makes it a little bit easier to get a white balance rather than using uh, uh, RGB curves or even the like an offset wheel or something. It's, it's very difficult to dial it in that way. This way, we just slide it up or down. Um, so I'm gonna pay attention right now to this area and try and line these colors up as best as possible by dialing in a different temperature. So you know they look pretty converged there. Right about there. Now if I toggle this on and off, uh, Command D. Now if we look at this white, you see a little bit of a yellow hue to it. And if it's hard for you to tell, watch when I turn it off. Or sorry, turn it back on. Then you can see it's, it's the white is a lot more white. And I'll turn off uh, the adjustment I just did. You see the yellow cast in it and turn it back on. See, so that's our white balance. Now we may want that yellow in there, but we at least want to start with a proper white balance and we would just add another node. And, you know, if we wanted to put a kind of a wash across a whole image like that, we could do that. But the image just seems to hold up better when you start with a good white balance. Anyway, that's the tip for today, and I hope this was helpful. If you like filmmaking videos, please consider subscribing, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching.